Somerset House. And in a few moments' time, we're going to find out which is most effective, Facebook or Twitter. Well, the thing is, we've had loads and loads of interest, but what I'm worried about is if anyone is actually going to turn up. Yeah, it is slightly worrying and potentially incredibly embarrassing if no one does. <laughs> so, with that in mind, I'm, I'm just going to go on Twitter. I think, yep, yeah. I'm just going to do the Face Twitter thing. Face it was probably too late by now, but worth sending out a few last-minute messages to people trying to convert a few of those maybes into definites. I'm getting a bit nervous. It's quite exciting, really. It's like, you know when you have a birthday party when you're about 14 and you've invited the whole class and only one person comes? Or was that just me? But it's that kind of feeling. I settled down to some last-minute tweeting as well, but as I started, I was aware that I wasn't alone. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is social networking as it should be. I'm actually putting faces to my tweets. Hey, Fitz. Hey, Fitz, I know yeah. you. <laughs> my Twitter followers had started to turn up already. There was still an hour to go, and a slow trickle of people were joining my ranks. This is Richard Lane, look. He just sent me a Twitter, and he said, at Jason Bradbury, sitting next to you. There he is. Hi, oh, Richard, how you doing, man? <laughs> I love it. I wasn't having as much luck. I'm really sorry I can't come to the dance-off. I've moved to Beijing. Alas, I've just been discharged from hospital after a knee operation. I am actually wondering if these people just genuinely hate me. <laughs> with the stewards counting people in, I was nervous. Facebook is absolutely fantastic for staying in touch with friends and checking out their photos, but I was beginning to doubt how good it was for a gathering. We headed off to get changed while the final preparations for the event were underway. As we emerged in our dance clothes, it looked like all our efforts were paying off. Well, for me, anyway. With 20 minutes to go, loads of my Twitter followers were already gathered. It's great, I'm so excited. I, I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, but the weird thing is that I like it. Whereas I had approximately zero people in my corner. You here for the dance-off? You here for the dance-off? There's a dance-off. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! <clears throat> You're not on Twitter, are you? A Twitter? Oh, yeah, good, thanks. Facebook! Where's Facebook? I could only hope that people would turn up at one when their lunch hour started. While Gal fretted, I decided to work my crowd. This is incredible. I, I think people are going to talk about this because Facebook is not looking good. <laughs> Slowly but surely, Facebook people were arriving for me. You're Facebooking me. <laughs> hey! Rock and roll! <laughs> But it looked like it could be too little too late. Time was nearly up. Guys, it's one o'clock! This is, this is... This is it! Right, everyone, follow me this way! Come on, Facebookers as well, don't be embarrassed. As the crowd moved over, it was clear to see just how many people had turned up. It was truly amazing. Look at you lot, look wow. at you lot! Wow! There are so many of you. As the two groups split, I was left facing a wall of tweeters. I did get a few last-minute stragglers swell my ranks. Facebook! Yay! But it wasn't enough. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Is the Twitter crowd ready? Yes! <laughs> Let's get this party started right, as my nan used to say. Oh, yeah! Gail and I kick things off, busting a few choice breakdance moves. Okay. After a while, we got the crowds to join in, and what my Facebook crew lacked in numbers, they made up for with enthusiasm. And regardless of the numbers, the benefits of Facebook and Twitter were plain to see. There weren't many of them, but I knew everyone who turned up to dance for me, and that reflects the true nature of Facebook. It's a place where you can socialise and stay in touch with real friends you're unable to see, wherever they are in the world. For me, it was testament to the virtues of Twitter that I've been able to organise this with complete strangers. More and more, it's becoming a way for people to follow their favourite celebs every move or stay in touch with the latest updates from pretty much any organisation you can think of. It's like a news feed with a community feel. My guys were even posting pictures and videos on Twitter during the event. As we wound the event up with a spectacular move from Jason and one of his crew, yeah. Yeah. it was time for the final count. It was obvious Twitter had won, but by how many? 
Ice Bridge! Yay! Well, in the end, it was me and Facebook with a respectable 23, but Jason and Twitter took it with a spectacular turnout of 208. Not bad for something arranged in just five days. Thank you to everyone.